Hi everyone, so my um, flash died on my camera, so I had to buy a new one, but my camera was pretty old anyway. This is not really an upgrade, it's about the same as the camera that I had. This one has 20 megapixels, my other one had 16, and this one has 12 times optical zoom, mine had 16. It was, they were asking about $220 for this on sale, and with tax it was like $240, I think it's a lot still. So it's the Canon PowerShot. ELPH360HS. So let's open it. I also want to mention the box is really tiny. I was shocked. Like, $50 for something this small. So, let's see what we have first. Looks like it's registration for the warranty. And then, I guess this is the camera. Whoa! That is small. Look how thin that is. I'm gonna go grab my other camera so you can see the difference. Okay, so this is my old Canon camera. It's a SX160IS, and it's a power shot. It's pretty heavy. The batteries are in it, though. I had rechargeable batteries. This one's way lighter, but I don't think the battery's in it, though. So here's the profile. Let's take a look. It's basically the same, just missing the front part. Okay, let's see what else we get in the box. Under here. It's like a manual, which I usually don't read anyway. I guess I should. And what's this? I think it's a battery charger. Yeah, safety instructions. Okay. Yeah, it's a battery charger, just like a rechargeable battery you would have in like Duracell or Energizer. Go in here and go in the wall. And manual, as I mentioned before. Yep, here's the battery. I wonder how much that costs to replace. I saw some. Like I saw a cheap camera and it was like $60 for a battery. And a cord for your hand, a hand strap. I can see there's no connectivity cable, so I don't know if this is Wi-Fi or whatever, but I have a cable for my old camera. I hope it works. Okay, so let's have a look at the camera. It's inside protective paper or fabric. And there it is. It actually feels kind of cheap. I don't know like what this is. It's like a really thin plastic. Let me see if I can feel the other one. I don't know, the plastic feels thinner to me. Like I might it might not be, but I think it is. And up here we've got like the on-off button. Some other features I really better read this manual screen looks a decent size. Here's my old one. Let's see. I think pretty close are about the same. I would say probably the same. It just doesn't have this pop-up uh, flash, which I like. Because it's a Canon, I hope it's like the same, so I don't have to think about it too much. Okay, so I guess unless I test it, I won't know how good the pictures are, but I'm sure it would be good enough. I had to replace it, so there's my new camera. I just want to mention again while I'm putting this together, when I open the door and stuff here, it is so cheap. I mean, look at this door. It's like just the thinnest plastic. It's like, you know, like just so cheap. Look at that. Well, surprise, surprise, I go to turn it on, 
and what does it say? Charge the battery. So the battery doesn't come charged. I don't know how long it takes, so here I go. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll try to do an update on how it works later on. Okay, so now I've been using the Canon PowerShot ELPH360HS for a couple weeks now, and I still do find it to be quite cheap. For example, I had to try to find the door to put the um, transfer cable in, and it was a really thin piece of plastic on the side, which I like had to basically pick out. Um, I had to charge the battery after using it for a while. I'm using it to take pictures of collectibles. Unless I had a second battery, I have to sit there and wait for it to charge, and it has to be plugged into a wall. So it's kind of a downfall if you're traveling or something, you actually have to find a plug-in. Something good I've noticed about the camera though is um, I don't really have to do a lot of editing, like for color. Like the color correctness seems to be pretty good when I take pictures of objects and I just have to like crop them and it turns out pretty good. I do notice when I get into the digital zoom it gets really grainy, especially from a far distance, even not that far. And I think it's actually worse than the previous camera that I had, which was also a power shot. Another thing I noticed is it does do good on close-ups. I got more details with this camera on the trees and things like that, like little small items that I didn't see with the cell phone. One thing I did find irritating though was setting the camera down. It always falls over unless it's on a perfectly flat surface. It's really irritating. I did a variety of shots outside of plants and scenery with both my LG G7 um, cell phone and this camera. So I put a comparison up so you can look at the details and color and see what you think. But in honesty, I'd probably only recommend it if you want to have a separate camera for doing things besides your cell phone, if you're taking a lot of pictures. Otherwise, for point and shoot, your cell phone's probably going to do just as good or even better than this camera. Anyway, so that's my first impression, and um, let me know what you think.